Bonjour, welcome back to my French YouTube channel. I hope that you are preparing well for your board exam. So I'm back again with a new video on convenient tense. I've been receiving a lot of messages related to convenient tense, but all you need to understand that with a few tips, you'll be able to attempt this question really well. So let's quickly jump into today's video. I've tried to cover all the possible tenses in this video. So you do one thing, just pause this video, note down all these parts, solve it first, and then get back to this video and check how many answers are correct. Okay, so let's quickly jump into today's video. First part, see, tiuta somal, tiutash, sa, repose. The first thing that you need to see in convenient tense, as I already said in my previous videos also, you need to see what is given first. Before just writing your answer, you know, in randomly and very quickly, just see what is given first. So if we see this, now it's an equation with C. I hope you remember the equation with C. C plus, now this is a tense, okay? So we can see it's a verb. And if we can figure this verb out, it's given in which tense? It's given in present. Trebia. C tuta song. C plus present plus. I told you two options. Emperatim and fitur song plus. So now subject pronoun is given again. So if the subject pronoun is given again, you're going to write fitur song plus. And if here there would not have been any subject pronoun, then it would have been the case of Emperatif. Sava. Okay, so see, tuta son. Ta son. The verb son ti, sa son ti. If you don't feel good, tiu sa repose. You can rest. Okay, you can rest. So we do it in fitu son plus. So tiu. Now sa repose. It's a pronominal verb. So with tiu, you write ta. And repose. It's an I category, so you write complete plus with you a voir ending. So I hope that you've got this one correct. Let's move on to the second part. Dama, aussitôt que je dash recevoir mon passeport, je te téléphonerai. So again, what is the rule? You have to check what is given first. So what is given? Which tense is given? Fitur sample. If you see téléphonerai, it's given in fitur sample. So, with Fitur Sompler, it's a combination of Fitur, Ontario, Excellent. And you also have the word Ossitoka, you have the word Dama. So, all of them proves that you need to write Fitur, Ontario. So, let's start. How will you make Fitur, Ontario of Reservoir? Just see whether it is in Dr. Mrs. Wondertrap. No, it's not there. So, we're going to write it with Avoir. Avoir in future. So, it becomes Ore. Jore and past participle receive. So at the end of the video, just see how many points did you get, how many are correct, and whichever is not correct, just do those parts again. Let's see the third part. Dash bulua rompli set fish silbu play. Now, which word is given here? Silbu play. One thing that you need to remember is silbu play. The next very important thing that you need to remember is. There is no subject pronoun. So there is no subject pronoun. That means it is which tense? Imperative. Imperative. Excellent. So imperative we will be conjugating with what is given? Silbu play. So we will be conjugating with vu and vouloir imperative will be vaye. It's an exception. Four verbs were an exception. Okay. You can go back to any of my previous videos of imperative and check the exceptions there. Let's move on to the next part. La semaine dernière. Semaine dernière. What is given? Just find out the keywords. What is given? Semaine dernière. Important word. Dernière. Il dash fair beau. So dernière is last. And if we see the sentence, it is an expression for weather. Whenever we talk about weather in past tense, it's always, it's always, Imparfait. Superb. So, imparfait of fair will be with nu. We write faisant. Just cut O N S and write the endings. A I T. Faze. I hope till now all four parts are correct. Let's move on to the next part. 
सिर्फ फजे C plus now see the tense which is given. C equation is given, and along with C, this is given in which tense? Just now we have done. C plus in parfait. So what was the equation with C plus in parfait? C plus in parfait plus conditionnel. Très bien. So if we write our level of conditionnel, it will be I R and ending will be in parfait ending. So iriez vous iriez vous promenez. So if you want to get this entire question right, the first step you need to follow that is mandatory. Just see what is given. Do not start writing your answer directly. Just see what is given. That will help you to understand the tense which you have to write in the sentence. Let's move on to the next part. Kon shona ete petit. Now uh, this is also something that uh, many of the children ask me. When kon is given, is it fixed? Which tense is going to come? So answer of this question is no. It is not fixed. You need to see the type of sentence that you are writing. You need to see the type of sentence which is given actually. Kon shona ete petit. So we need to focus on the tense which is given. Ete. Ete means we're talking about past. And this is which tense? Imparfait. So when it's given in imparfait, when the sentence continues, it can be a combination of both the tenses. It can be either passive composite. Depending upon the situation, you have to read the sentence, or it can be imperfect. There is no fixed answer. It can be any one tense. And how will you figure that out by reading the sentence? So if we continue the sentence, when Shona was petite, when she was small, elle dash se promenait tous les jours. Se promenait to walk. Excellent. So she she walked every day. How will you say that sentence? She walked. Or she used to. And parfait is used to or was, ing. So all of that is in parfait. So when she was small, something that you used to repeat in past. When she was small, she used to walk every day. So we will be writing this in in parfait. Something that was being repeated in past. Let's move on to the next one. L'année dernière. Again, I have repeated so that again and again you remember the same things. L'année dernière, nous dash allions Europe. So, dernière, last, we're going to write it in past tense. We went to. Nous sommes allés. You can write S, that is also fine. If you write like this, this is also fine. Because we don't know the subject pronoun no is referring to what. So, either you can put it like that or after E, if you even write S directly, that is also correct. Okay, so next one. Venir vous ma voir la semaine prochaine. So prochaine, that's the key word that we need to remember that is given. Prochaine is next. Whenever that key word is given, it's always with your sample. Très bien. So venir is given, it will be viendre. It's an exception, viendre. Okay, viendre vous ma voir la semaine prochaine. Will you be coming to see me next? Week. Let's move on to the next one. Tous les matins, les enfants doivent se réveiller tôt. So, tous les matins. Whenever this two is given, that means it can be anything. Tous les matins, tous les soirs. So, whenever two word is given, that means we're talking about present. So, tous les matins, les enfants, just conjugate in present. Se réveiller. They wake up early. Last part of the question. Silta play. I've included this as well because it's a little uncommon, you know. But very, very important to know this. What is silta play and silbu play? Silbu play, that means you are referring to the bu subject pronoun. Silta play, that means you are referring to the tu subject pronoun. That's why I've taken this as well. Silta play, vani parisi. So when it's ta, that means you need to conjugate with tu. Vya par isi. Silta play, vya par isi. So 10 parts are here. I hope that you understand. Put your scores in the comment section below and I would love to know out of 10 how many were right. Keep practicing. The key to attempt these questions really well is to practice again and again, again and again. So I'm going to see you in the next video and my next video is going to be very important because I'm going to give you all the tips that you need for your board exam. Au revoir.